Hello guys, uh, this is Satum and I welcome you once again to Devil's Angel. Your favorite tributes and experiences travel. What? It's not your favorite yet? Okay. I'll give you one great reason to make it one today. Watch out. Devil's Angel. Before I move forward, I would like to ask a simple question to you guys that uh, have you ever tried searching online uh, about how you can connect your uh, iPhone to your uh, hard drive, external hard drive, uh, wirelessly. And if the answer is yes, then I know how frustrated you would have been to find no answers that work. At the best, what you could find was how you can connect your uh, hard drive to your PC or hard drive to your Mac wirelessly. But there was no real solution around that uh, could help you connect uh, your hard drive to your iPhone wirelessly. And uh, like you, I was also frustrated, but uh, instead of giving up, I kept trying. And by trial and error method, I finally uh, found a workaround which actually works and which is absolutely free. So uh, basically uh, in this video we will be talking about how you can uh, first of all enable your uh, router uh, setting so that you can connect your uh, hard drive or your uh, USB drive to your phone and secondly uh, I will be telling you how you can access the data on your uh, hard drive via your phone and thirdly uh, I will be telling you how you can manipulate the data on your hard drive using just your iPhone and the app that is absolutely free. So basically you can uh, move or edit or delete the data that is uh, stored in the hard drive using your phone. And finally, most importantly, uh, we will be discussing about how uh, you can transfer the data between these two devices uh, from your phone to your hard drive and from your hard drive to your phone and that again wirelessly. So uh, this uh, solves a lot of purpose and this can be a godsend for somebody who is traveling or somebody who is uh, tired of uh, having an iPhone that is having low memory or low storage and he does have a hard drive that is empty. So uh, there are endless uh, usage uh, scenarios and I'm pretty sure uh, you would uh, enjoy this video and uh, I'm pretty sure I will be of some help to you guys. So uh, yes, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's go. So uh, the first step is to uh, connect your uh, hard drive to your router via the USB port behind the router and as soon as you plug in the USB you will find the USB light uh, turn on. Now the next step is to uh, find the default gateway address of your connection and to do this just uh, open cmd.exe and type ipconfig here and hit enter. Once you do that, uh, here you will find the default gateway address. So you should note this down and mostly uh, 192.168.1.1 is the default gateway address. Now it's time to move to your uh, browser and type the gateway address here and hit enter. So this will uh, take you to the router settings page and here you need to enter your uh, login and password which are mostly admin and admin if you have not yet changed them so enter and uh, you will see the uh, main page where you will find that usb is uh, showing as connected so this is uh, the router setup of tenda and it might differ slightly depending on your uh, router's make and model so now the next step would be to go to uh, setup and uh, now click on advanced setup and find anything that uh, relates to storage and under the storage settings uh, just enable the Samba service wherever you, wherever you find it and uh, in the tender router there are two two places where you need to enable the Samba service and under user accounts you can uh, give the username and password to your uh, hard drive or your pen drive and now go to your uh, phone and open this app called R Manager. Under the app, you need to hit on plus and now you can add this uh, Samba service to your phone via your router. Make sure you are connected to your wireless network. And now here, uh, only one device is free. So uh, that should suffice for now. And under the add device, uh, just uh, input the same uh, address that is your default gateway address and give the username and password that you have set in the router settings now this should show a samba device here and now you are ready to access your hard drive as you can see all the folders that are on your hard drive can now be seen here
and to manipulate the data on your hard drive you need to click on the i button right next to each folder once you do that you will see the various options uh, and the things that you can do with your data here and also once you open the file uh, you uh, get the option of sharing this uh, file with other apps that are installed in your phone and now uh, we will move forward to the transfer and backup of data to and fro from uh, the phone to the uh, drive and from the hard drive to the phone so just go to ios media and click on photo gallery and now you will find all your photo folders here and and click on edit and select all if you want to select multiple photos and if not if uh, just open a particular photo and hit copy and uh, once you've copied that you can go come back and see the hard drive location in the previous page and now here you can uh, paste the file uh, in the folder of your choice or uh, probably you can create a new folder here as well and uh, I, I, I'll try to show you the transfer speed as well to do this uh, I'll open about uh, a video which is uh, about 150 MB and I'll try to copy this uh, to my hard drive so uh, I'm copying this uh, video to my hard drive now to the Samba location that I have enabled and as soon as, as, soon as I hit paste here uh, uh, the task uh, goes to the background and I, I, I can see the transfer pro progress by sliding the this uh, window to the right and you can see the transfer is almost instantaneous and it is blazing fast so guys uh, this was my workaround or my trick to connect the iphone uh, to the hard drive uh, by just using the wireless router at home and uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video or if it helped in in uh, helped you in some way and if you have any queries or questions uh, then those are also most welcome because i read and reply each and every comment that i get on my videos and your feedback is very very important to me and yes uh, do subscribe to my channel because uh, it does help a lot and your like will make my day i hope to see you guys back again very very soon